Good morning, YouTubes. I'm uh, here at the shop again today. I got my little uh, macaque monkey skull I've had for a lot of years. He just kind of hangs out in this jar, and I've always wanted to put him in a nice little decorative cloche and maybe set him up by my uh, bring the jar or my uh, demon skull display. So today I'm going to go ahead and put him in a cloche. Let's get this little guy out of here. what he looks like his jaws in two pieces so he's got a little socket that sits in there but I want to display him with his mouth open and then put him under a glass jar I'm gonna do that by putting him on a little half inch dowel I could have gone to about six inches or so uh, enough to fit under the glass dome but uh, I'm going to slide that right up in this little hole where his brain stem was. And he'll just sit under the glass jar and he'll be protected. He's a little yellow from uh, the oils in his skull. A lot of animals that have an oily, uh, oily texture gets trapped under the bone. And you can bleach it out. But uh, I kind of like this look. It looks more old and weathered to me, so I think it's kind of cool. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put some uh, silicone in there to lock his jaw into place and open it. And to do that, I'm gonna use 100% clear silicone. You don't wanna use hot glue, you don't wanna use E6000. Um, it's gonna be hard to get off the skull later if you wanna take it apart, or you get the glue stuck on there, or it dries, or it may discolor the skull. So this is gonna be the easiest way to do it, for at least for me. And I wanna display him with his jaw open, so I've gotta put a little dab of silicone in each little jaw pocket back there and then I'll rubber band it into place until it dries. And then that way, when I put him on the, in the cloche, his skull will be open and he could be uh, observed that way. So let me get some silicone, get some rubber bands, and uh, let me get him, uh, his jaw set in place. All right, so I've got him uh, kind of rubber band into place. I got his jaw as wide as I want to open it. This way, once I put the silicone in there, it should hold. I'm going to pull this jaw away. I'm going to put a little dab on either corner of the jaw. And I'm going to put that aside, let them sit, and then we'll work on that base. So again, 100% silicone, no hot glue, no nothing else. Just want to open that jaw up. Put a little dab in there. A little more on this side. And then we're just going to let it lock into place. Maybe I'll put another little dab on the outside. This will also make it flexible too, so if I want to open the lid later and move the jaw a little bit, it'll be able to swing down a little bit and open up a little more. A little bit in there. And then it's clear so you won't see it. So that's our little monkey skull. He's got his jaw siliconed into place and open. We'll put him aside, and then I want to work on that base. So we'll let that guy dry. Put the silicone away. Now I got this close years ago from Amazon. It's uh, five and a half inches across. I'm gonna put a half inch hole right here for my dowel to sit in. And because he's uh, kind of uh, off center, I got the stick marked about where his head's gonna be. And then I'll drill out the hole, we'll stick him in there and then get this base set up to take him. So I already marked my uh, hole. I did a little pilot hole. I'm gonna put a 5 30 seconds inch hole in there because if you go too big, it'll be sloppy and I want this peg to be in there tight. So I'm gonna take this to the drill press. I'm gonna uh, come back. We're gonna glue that in place and we're gonna put some felt down too and get this thing ready to uh, put the monkey skull in there and display it. Alrighty, I took this to the drill press. I got my base drilled out for my hole. Uh, I think now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and tape this off with some blue painter's tape. Uh, it's MDF, it's pretty cheap stuff, so you gotta be careful with it. Uh, the cloche is actually a little sloppy in the hole. There's some play in there. So I wanna put some felt down anyways, just to have a nice contrast on it and make it look cooler when it's under the glass. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my dowel I'm just going to paint it all in with the brown magic marker. 
I don't even think I'm going to stain it. You'll never know. So I'm going to paint this up with this magic marker. And then uh, I'll mask this off. We'll come back and uh, we'll put some felt on there. That way it'll look cool under the glass. And it had a nice bit of contrast against that skull if you're looking at it from a higher angle. All right, so I got the base all taped up. We'll deal with that in a minute. I took the dowel, colored it in with the magic marker. Can't even tell, it looks like wood stain. You could paint it or you could use a piece of steel or you could use whatever you want. Um, I just thought the magic marker was fast and quick. Uh, I'm gonna take this base with painter's tape and I'm just gonna trace around the inside ring. This way, this is all masked off for glue. We'll put a piece of felt down. Figures. All right, I'm gonna tuck this down, a little tool. You can use a wood stick. You could use a Phillips head screwdriver. I just wanna bring this down a little bit. All right, I think before I put the felt on, I'm gonna take some 320. I'm gonna scuff it up real fast. It doesn't have to be serious. Just kind of make it easier for the glue to stick and the felt to stick. That's more than good. I've got a piece of uh, 33 cent felt from Hobby Lobby. We're gonna glue down both sides, gonna spray glue it. Take that away from the camera. Okay, got a light coat of glue on the base. Let that sit for a second. Of course, I got it on my hand. We'll take the felt, do the same thing. Put a light coat on that and cut it oversized. It don't matter, we're not gonna use all of it. It was only 33 cents if we laced a little. I'm not too worried about it. That's good. All right, I'll let these guys tack up for a little bit. And then I'm just gonna lay this whole felt right down across the top. And then before it's tacks up, take some of that sloppiness out of that cloche lid. Like I said, when you use something blunt, you could use a paint stick, something a little soft, and kind of mash that down in there. All right. So I'm gonna stuff that in there. I'm gonna cut my little hole out my pilot hole for my uh, stick, there she is. I'll razor blade that guy out, and then uh, I'll come back and we'll glue the little uh, stem in for the skull to sit on. All right, I got the felt on, nice and glued down. Kind of pinching the edges. I went ahead and put the, the post in there. So that turned out pretty good, so now that should take some of the sloppiness out of the cloche. So overall, that looks good. I think uh, I'll wait for that silicone to dry on the skull. I'll go ahead and get it mounted up and then I'll come back and I'll uh, show you guys the final product, what it turned out looking like. All right, right before I mount this guy, I got the silicone still drying. Um, I like to take a little bit of Mop and Glow, the actual floor polish stuff and brush the skull with it. I picked up this little trick from uh, Ryan at White Bone Creations. He does this to all his skulls. He said it kind of seals them and keeps the dust out of them. Keeps them from getting that uh, black, dirty, kind of grimy um, texture when dust wants to settle into the bones and in the pores and it makes everything show up, makes the skull look horrible. So we're gonna have a quick coat of uh, Mop and Glow Thanks to Ryan. Let's try and get every little crack and orifice, stick in the turbinates. This is a male skull. That's why he has the, uh, the fangs. These little guys are from Thailand. So I think right before we put them in his little dome, I'll uh, unmask them. I'll put them in his little dome. 
and then I'll show you the final product. But he's all brushed out, got a nice coat of wax on him, and he's ready to go in his dome. All right, this little monkey's waxed. I got him sitting on his little uh, post, and he lived in this jar for years, which was kind of sad and sorry. So we got rid of that. And this will be his new home. I think he turned out pretty cool. He'll be nice to display. He'll have the dome on top of him. I liked how the red felt kind of shows off his, uh, shows the contrast. And then we just went ahead and we used the magic marker to paint the stem. But that's how he came out. He's got a coat of wax on him, coat of mop and glow. Again, I'd like to thank Ryan at White Bone Creations. If you guys haven't seen his channel, you should shoot over there. He does a lot of skulls and a lot of taxidermy, a lot of cleaning. Uh, it's a very cool channel. But I think we'll put the dome on this guy and call him done. Now he's out of the dust and he's got a new home. So hope you guys enjoyed this. I've got other skulls. If you guys want to see a little more, just let me know in the comments. I uh, hope you dig it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.